ICT vaccine invoked some non-specific benefits in these children. But it was potentially interpreted as spurious findings and never followed up. For non-specific effects. We started doing a more systematic search into the overall health effects of vaccines at the Bandam Health Project, our field station in Guinea-Bissau in West Africa. My name is Zakia Bartomeu Silva. I am a physician and epidemiology working with the BCG and measles vaccination in Guinea-Bissau. Banding Health Project started working in Guinea-Bissau more than 40 years. So the Bandam Health Project is a field station, a collaboration between the Ministry of Health in Guinea-Bissau and the University of Southern Denmark, where I belong. And it started in 1978. At that time, every second child died before it reached five years of age. Guinea-Bissau is a low economic country. The child mortality is high. The main problem is tuberculosis, HIV, and the diarrhea for the child. When we introduce the BCG vaccination, the mortality go down. Those who have received BCG vaccine, they have more than a third reduction in their risk of dying during the first month of life. And this was not due to prevention of tuberculosis because tuberculosis does not kill children in the first month of life. It was due to prevention of septicemia, blood poisoning from bacteria, reductions in the risk of respiratory infections. We see that more than 20% reduction of the mortality in the child who get the BCG vaccination if you compare for the child who don't get the vaccination. And we start making that different trials to test how this can work. In the main hospital in Bissau, mothers like Olga da Silva have brought their babies in to receive vaccinations, including the BCG. The BCG vaccine is a support, a defense for the health of the children. Even if my child is sick, because of the vaccine, they will be resistant to sickness and survive. In my view, every mother must take all the vaccines, as well as BCG, for the well-being of the children. I bring my son to be vaccinated. If the child gets measles, for example, the child vaccinated with BCG is more resistant to measles and other diseases than a child not vaccinated with BCG. It's important to understand that we see that vaccine is helping well now. But what about in five years? What about in ten years? What about in more than 20 years? What can happen for these people who are getting this vaccine? I hope that uh, this study can change the health politics for the vaccination. Very interestingly, BCG vaccine can also protect against other diseases. So there's now interesting research coming out of the US showing effects of BCG vaccine. Type 1 diabetes, Alzheimer's disease. BCG for many decades now has been a treatment against bladder cancer. There are also studies indicating that BCG vaccine may reduce the risk of lung cancer. So, uh, intriguingly, this vaccine seems to have many different effects which are not all explainable from the same immunological mechanism. And it's not just the BCG vaccine which has these unexpected non specific effects. Vaccines for measles and polio have reported similar findings. It all comes down to the kind of vaccine you're talking about.